Okay, so let's have a look at the swipe gestures that you can use on your Remarkable 2. So we'll go into this dark mode planner that we've got, and this is the overall page, but let's go to February, because I've written down for you the gestures. What there is, swipe down, swipe left and right, pinch to zoom. Most people will know what swipe left and right, pinch to zoom are. Some people don't know the swipe down, the document drawer, the quick browse, and the swipe to scroll in the folders. I think that's pretty straightforward. So let's go left and right first. So you can see we're in February. If I go left, I should get to March. There's March, April, May. And then if I go right, I should go backwards to April, to March, just give it a second to February. We're working from February today. Well, I'm using the marker uh, pencil and I'm writing in thin. And I just put that there so that you would be able to see the differences. So swipe left and right is pretty straightforward. And I think we know about pinch to zoom. Okay, so if we come out, give it a second. One, two, three, four. Just needs a bit of time to think. This is the swipe to zoom. And then you can pan around in your document with two fingers. So get your two fingers on the screen. And of course, yep, it's going to do it. Woohoo! Give it a second to update. It's all to do with the processing power that's in it. Now, pinch to zoom obviously means pinch. Sometimes it comes back to page size and sometimes it doesn't. So one of the ways that I just quickly deal with that is I just adjust the view and fit to width and get rid of that and it, it all comes back to normal. Sometimes it just, it just does its own thing. So that's pinch to zoom. We know how to pan around in that. Did you know that you can close your document by doing that? You just simply swipe down. And while we're here, let's go into, I will show you how, let's go dark mode. Oh, we don't have enough. You can, you can just with one finger scroll up and down. You need a lot of documents to, to show that. I thought I had enough documents in there, but obviously didn't. All right, so back in planners, in this planner for this year. All right, so we've looked at the swipe down. That's a very quick way. Um, two more things, the quick browse. Now, haha, <laughs> love this. Um, just one second, there we go. What you do is you put one finger up from the bottom and you, you get this scroll bar. Now it's going to give you a preview. So watch this, when I put my finger on it, you see this, the preview comes up here? And as I go, page 10, page 11, page 12, it's changing December, October, September, June, July, March, April, all the way back, there's the overview year, there's the title, come back, let's go to, let's go to page seven and see if it puts us in May. Give it a second. May, it works. So again, you just pull up from the bottom, you just gotta get that pressure, the amount of pressure right. And then what we'll do is try and get back to February. Let's see if we can get back to February, which is where our notes are. And give it a second, and there it is. It's back to, so that's how you do a quick browse within a document. And the last one is the document drawer. Did you know that you don't start at the top, you start about here and you do that, and sometimes it thinks you're trying to pull the document down. <laughs> so just, just bear with it. There it is. You just gotta get your fingers in the right spot like. This is the recent documents I've been looking at and we can scroll left, see that? You can have a look at all the things. If you have anything in your favorites, you can go here and can we scroll left, scroll right? You can see whatever you've put in there, you see how you've given them a star? Then you could quickly go to the light view. Let's. Will it work? Yes. We've
clicked on the uh, monthly planner in uh, in light mode and then it should take you to May and there you have it again let's see if we can get this in the right in, there it is it's got to be just close to the top but not quite uh, let's go back to dark mode the document that we were just in and there it is so that's how you do uh, the document draw from the top the swipe down and that's what we'll finish on that. We'll finish with closing to close the document. You just do that and it puts you back in the beginning. There you go. Some gestures on the Remarkable 2. I will do the 3.0 has a few other gestures. And so we'll have a look at that next.